So tell me your name, Dad. My name is Jim Kukrow. Yeah, and what's the book you wrote, Jim? It's called Attention, This Book Will Make You Money. And <laughs> can you believe it? I'm talking to you, who's wow. featured in the book. Shit. <laughs> I'm supposed to be. Uh, that's right. So what was the idea of the book? I mean, the, the idea of the book is basically you're living it, right? Yeah. It's, it's getting, I don't know what I do. I just do it. You're doing it, and it's getting people to look in your direction. Uh-huh. And that's only part of it. Uh-huh. And how do you get them to hire you? How do you get them to give you publicity? How do you get them uh-huh. to give you get leads? So you're a living, breathing yeah. example of my book. So it, it's really, how to be an asshole in life? No. Or what? <laughs> hey, if an asshole gets people to take their wallets out right. and give you their money, then that's, then that's what we're getting. I mean, what the? I found it doing talk shows. I used to still do a talk shows. And, and, and you know, the camera went to the idiot. You know, So if you're the idiot out of the stage, man, you get more <laughs> camera time than anybody else. Yeah. Uh, that's it. So how, how does it work in other lives then? How's it work in other lives? Well, not other lives. I mean, like, I mean, I, I know how I, I, I did it on TV yeah. to do that. So, what's the application? Well, the beauty of it now is that with social media uh-huh. uh, and the web, the way it is, is that you know people who are essentially nobody can uh-huh. do it much faster. You I know, see. I mean, I, I can't even. It probably took longer to get <laughs> yeah. where you were before yeah. you were able to get so much reach so fast. Uh-huh. I mean, look at somebody like Gary Vaynerchuk, the wine guy, and. Uh, you know, nobody knew who that guy was yeah. four years ago, and in less than two years, he's one of the top-selling authors in the huh. in the space. You know, so and how did he do that? He did it with passion. He did it with video. He did it with uh-huh. social media. And it's, I guess, my point is that if you can get people to look in your direction and uh-huh. use the tools that exist today, it's much easier and faster to do it than it used to be. But you still have to have a great passion. You still have to have a yeah. great idea. So the, uh, if you have an idea and you have passion for that idea, you're saying that today with the technology and everything, it's easier to get known for that or, 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 or you know, to sell it or, or, or whatever Absolutely. you want to do. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. if, if you wanted to get really famous today or get uh-huh. a lot of attention and publicity uh, before the web and before social media, it could take you 10, yeah. 20 years and uh-huh. millions and millions uh-huh. of dollars unless you're just naturally right. getting people to come <laughs> at you. I mean, I'm yeah. sure you get all kinds of businesses and people who come to you and say, how did you do it? Right? Yeah, but that, that's now. I mean, but I, I can't get like... See, I used to get normal broadcast media, and maybe because I've been at it all, I can't do that anymore. It's sort of like over for me in that media. Yeah. <laughs> but but maybe that media is over too, so it doesn't matter. It's still there, not that yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so someone starting, you know, so if you have an idea, I mean, you, you have an invention, that you have a product, you have a uh, a mission in life or a nonprofit, you're saying that you could take you know the kind of things that I, I, I did to do my stick mm-hmm. anybody could do it because of the media yeah and you don't I mean I always say this when I yeah. speak to small business owners or big brands and uh-huh. I, show, I tell them your story and uh-huh. they all kind of look at me and they say well Jim I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna put on a question mark suit right right and there's two things I tell them uh-huh. number one you don't have to do something yeah. This way, first of all, you do it because you're authentic. Right. It I works for you. It. Right. Yeah, you right. love doing yeah, it. Right. It's spoken enough. I right. that. <laughs> That's why it works. Uh-huh. The second thing I tell them is, why are you afraid to do it? Because uh, is your ego holding yes. you back? Because if you're in yeah. business and your purpose, I'm assuming yes. your business is to get more sales, more leads, more publicity. Yes. If you could be yeah. successful here instead of success, successful yes. here. Why wouldn't you do something yeah. fun and creative? And, they, and it gets them thinking. No, you're right. And, and I think that's probably the main thing about it all is that fear of failure. Yeah. Because if I go out and act like an asshole and fail, you know, you know I mean, that, that's a double hurt. Yeah. <laughs> because not like a failure, I'm an asshole and fail. <laughs> well, that, the other thing people say to me is, Jim, well, how come you're not... You talk about yeah, people yeah, like Matthew right, right, and right. Name Tag Guy. How come you're not doing it? Mm-hmm. And the reason I'm not doing it is because I just haven't yeah. thought of my thing yet. Yeah, you right. can't, you, you right, can't absolutely. manufacture yeah. it, can you? It has to be from your heart. I mean, someone told me today I should yeah. put a cape on that- and walk around, and I was like... <laughs> I wouldn't feel yeah right right no, it you know, has so to be. you really have to believe it right, right. Uh, and it uh, but also I mean the back to fear of failure thing because I think that's what stops people from even approaching it 
it, it, it did me. Yeah. I couldn't do this, you know, 30 years ago or something like that. But my first two businesses went down the toilet. Right. And, and when when that happened was the best thing that happened to me because I had nothing else to lose anymore. Right. Because the biggest thing that stopped me was the fear of failure. Yep. So I was afraid if nobody, if everybody else was acting like an asshole, then, you know, hey, well, that's easy. But if no one else is, and you have to do that. Right. Yeah. You know, the other thing, and maybe I don't know if I told you when we talked about the book, but what helps me do it is I believe my work is bigger than me. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So if, if what you're doing, if you believe your product, your service, your nonprofit or whatever, mm -hmm. is something that the society needs that yes. really more important than you, then you could, you're just a vehicle. It doesn't matter about you. Exactly right. Yeah. And, and it's, you know, it's tough for some people yeah. to find that right away. Yeah. Well, you don't get encouragement. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I had no one say, well, Matthew, all you do is act like an idiot right. on television. My parents did not admit I was their kid for the first 10 years on television. Because <laughs> 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 they wanted me to act very refined and dignified. But nobody would watch. Nobody would care. Exactly yeah. right. Like you said, you know, if somebody's gonna, in the bathroom going to right. brush their teeth, <laughs> you know, yeah. are they going to look at you the same old talking yeah. head or are they going to yeah. come out and pay attention yeah. to you? But I think it's so much even more important now because there's so much more media. You know, before I was starting this one, there was a half a dozen channels. Now there's a yeah. hundred. You know, so you've got to flop that. You really you do. Know, and, yeah, and, stop that and, and you, you, Why yeah. are people going to stop? Right? Yeah, exactly. Why are they going to stop yeah. in the middle of the flip yeah. and, and they see this or they see yeah. something else? And, again, people don't have to do this. Yeah. You know, you can do layers. Right, of right. Steps there's other ways. ways. Yeah. And the other thing I like what you uh, said is, you know, if you're in the middle, nobody remembers. You're right. In the middle, right? <laughs> so I always try to give people yeah. advice. You know, what are you doing to play on the edges a little yeah. bit? Well, that's what gets attention. I mean, and, and, and it seems like, particularly in the consumer market, we all want something different. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're all looking. I mean, uh, I mean, you go in the store and look for a sweater. Yeah, I mean, there's a 500 sweater. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking for a new one this year. Yeah. yeah. And to get attention. So how, how do people dig into that? What do you suggest to people to do that? Well, I mean, it all starts with figuring out who you are. And yeah. it's, it's tough for a lot of people. Because, oh. you know. I still don't know. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, it's really tough. And, and you, you have to let go. You have to free your mind. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, I think idea generation is a big part of mm -hmm. being an innovator and being an entrepreneur. Yeah. And you have to free your mind from all the things that society has told you mm -hmm. since you were a little right. baby, right? right? You know, run your business this way, yes. do yes. everything this way. Yes. And, you know, real innovation happens yes. when you unlock that, yeah. right? And, and I'm sure that's how you came yeah. up with Well, actually, because I was doing my first two businesses that way, right. and they failed, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> because then, exactly. Then, then after that failure, I, didn't have, I wasn't invested in that anymore. Yeah. So I had to try something. And actually what inspired Yeah, right? right. Because then I figured, well, if I fail again, at least this time yeah. I want to have fun. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And when I started having fun, you know, I said, well, I was looking for fail. And now I think that's even more important. You know, you have to fail nowadays. You do. You, you do. And, and with social media and the Internet. Yeah. It's it's easier to fail. Yeah, but exactly. it's, it's so great. I, mean, I failed, uh, yeah, fifty thousand yeah. times. It's not yeah. like you spent half a million dollars exactly. at a print campaign, right. and that fails. Right. And yeah, that, that's no, one it's shot. easy. Yeah, I, I heard something the other day. I was at a conference. That it was great because I used to like make ads to see if people would. I didn't do the book yet because mm -hmm. <laughs> it cost so much money to do the book. Yeah. So I put an ad, see if anybody would send money. I wouldn't cash their check, but see if there was a response. People wanted that. Right. So on the web, you know, you could do the same thing. You even cheaper, put yeah. up a website and put a click to order and have it go nowhere and just see how many clicks you got that people would yeah. order. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and that's the key. I mean, I always felt I could do a book on anything. I can't think of the title. Yeah. <laughs> what do people need? Yeah. So what is your background? What are you, what, what are you doing? My background is um, uh, I'm the old guy in the web business, right? So I I've been doing this. Well, well, <laughs> well when you yourself. really think about it, well, I got yeah. started in 1994. I see. So right. I like the very first gopher. year, really, <laughs> yeah, <Remember> gopher? <laughs> really right when um, uh -huh. um, the web started to become a uh -huh. business tech. Right. So I've, I've pretty much had my hands in all of it, wow. built some companies, sold some companies, yeah. and, and uh, I teach classes, University I of San Francisco.